our next guest says companies spend more on coffee than they do on training and development. That's why his company created an innovative tool transforming the way organizations understand and leverage their employees' strengths. Joining me now is the CEO of Acumex Index, Jay Haraluk, to share more about this. Welcome, Jay. Well, thank you, it's good to be here. Of course, happy to have you. So there's a statistic out there, right, that people spend more on coffee than they do on training. That's true. Talk to us about why you think that is, what is, you know, what's going on there? Well, there's a couple of elements, you know. First of all, uh, the Acumax Index, we, what we measure is innate human wiring. We're considered a personality assessment, but we're different. Mm. Innate human wiring occurs in the 18 to 24 month period after any human being on the planet is born. It's static. It does not change. Okay. So it can be used to bring the right people into the organization. What ends up happening though in most organizations because of costs, then they don't properly develop and train their people. Mm. The Acumax Index is very comprehensive. It tells me your natural orientation to ideas, how you communicate, not talk or think, but to su successfully process thought, H how you process work, speed of decision making, how much information you need for decision making, where you get your self-confidence, and how you learn. Mm. Training needs to be customized because people learn differently. Yes. So you can actually shorten the training time and make it more impactful by understanding how somebody best learns. That's amazing. Now, where did you find this sort of need for this? Where were you in your journey where you said, this has to happen here? Well, I accident I quite frankly accidentally fell into this arena about 22 years ago. Okay. And I worked for a company and they had a good tool, but I realized that there were some gaps and mm -hmm. some holes in it. So I, uh, most personality behavior assessments are based in the social sciences, the observable behavior of the person we see. Mm -hmm. So I got very interested in the neural sciences and started to study that and through that research founded the Acumax Index. And we are statistically validated, which means we measure what we say we're gonna measure. Yeah. And we're EEOC compliant, which are two musts to be used in the screen, pre-screening process for hiring. And what have you seen, you know, when businesses come to you and they're like, help us out here, and they, they take those, the, the, Acumen, the Acumax index, you know, what are you seeing? What's that feedback that you're getting from people that they're like, wow, you know, without that, we couldn't really have done what we did here? It's helping them uh, really manage their, their uh, people intake. Because the reality of it is, businesses are based upon people. Mm -hmm. So when you have the right people in the right seats, properly managed and motivated, and motivators are the non-monetary things we need for satisfaction. Right. It creates, number one, a more satisfied employee, mm -hmm. which results in less turnover, which creates more profitability and growth for the organization, so it's a win-win. Absolutely. Uh, talk to us a bit about your book, Unraveling the Mystery of People. Well, I started telling lots of stories, and it's, it's basically based on a lot of personal stories. And people would come up to me and say, you should put this in a book. Mm -hmm. And so I did. And it's, a, it's just a recap. It explains dominance factor and communication and patience and certainty. And uh, it, it's uh, just accumulation of the stories I used to tell. And I have to say, it was the hardest thing I've ever done. Because <laughs> it's so goodness. much easier to just verbalize a story right. and tell it than it is to uh, put it all down, put it down right? yes. Oh my goodness. Now, I'm curious because, you know, you're, you're talking about these different personalities and, you know, obviously that we have in the workplace. How does a business figure out, you know, the training per person? You know, do, do they say, is that like a, a lot to take on now to have to almost specify and have specific types of training models for each of those different personalities? Well, it, yes, you have to have different training models, but it actually shortens the training time. Mm, okay. Some people learn best by doing, by trial and error. Mm -hmm. Others learn best by able to verbalize it. Others want to know a process and a plan. Others want high degrees of information. One size fits all does only hits 25%, maybe, depending on the makeup of people in an yeah. organization. 
Well, Jay, thank you so much for joining us this morning. This has really been an interesting topic, and I think uh, a lot of employers listening to this are going to say, hmm, I may need to look into this. <laughs> for more information on how you can use the Acumax Index for your company, head to acumaxindex.com.